So, anyways, I don't know if you've been catching up the uh, Kickstarters lately. There's actually a uh, new N64 controller that's coming out. I did not know that many people still owned the N64s. That's what shocks me the most. Oh, really? I mean, that's like one of the most I, popular I, retro systems right now. But in terms of, like, actually being able to hook the thing up and everything, I thought people would just kind of go on to, I mean, that's not that I endorse this, but I thought most people were doing emulation nowadays. But apparently there are a lot of people who still own the OG N64 and still play the damn thing, which I give them plenty of credit for because there's nothing more fun than four-player GoldenEye or Smash Brothers on that thing. Well, when it comes to the N64, some games emulate great, of course, like Super Mario 64 and such, but games like GoldenEye, like you mentioned, they, those games still have problems with emulators. So. That is... That is very Sometimes true. you have to go to the original hardware if you want to get that experience. And so there's a company called Retrofighters. They're actually releasing a new N64 controller that is kind of like a Frankenstein between the N64 and the Xbox One. And I'm really looking hyped for this controller. I've already backed it on Kickstarter. It looks pretty kick-ass. I kind of wish they were releasing something like that for the like like USB wise for PC or something because that would be the ultimate solution for me wanting to play Banjo and Kazooie and Banjo Tooie since I'm uh, sad, true, but I never played either one of those, and I kind of want to after you go oh, yeah. such a piece of shit. Yeah, you never played Banjo Kazooie? No, I did not. I didn't know. Here's the thing: I didn't own an N64. My N64 was given to me by a, a fan a while back. He actually brought it to my job because he was leaving New York, and uh, he's like, "Here, you can have this." And it wasn't one of the included games, but. Um, I was trying to get a copy of it, and it was so goddamn expensive to track down a real copy of that damn game and a few other ones that I wanted to try out. And it was just like, it's always been on my, like, to playlist. Because initially I was put off by, like, what looked like kitty graphics and stuff. I was one of those people, no, I want hardcore violent ass games. But then I seen some people playing it, I'm like, this looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, that's not bad. So, anyways, if you're still playing N64 and you want a non shitty controller to play it with, get on that Kickstarter. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the N64 controller. <laughs> yeah, it's got yeah. a weird shape, but it works. It's but the analog stick uh, kind of breaks on you after three months and gets all loose. That's the, see, that's the thing. You're saying that, but my friend's controllers survived for years. Well, your friend clearly didn't play Mario Party in 64. No, we did. We did the, you know that game where you got to rotate the stick back and forth, and you did, most people were doing it with their palms, where they wore their palms out? We had multiple blisters from playing that stupid game. Oh, yeah, that was Mario Party. Yeah, that was ridiculous. The analog survived. <laughs> the, C, the C buttons did not, though. 